स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्थ मैथ्स क्लास लुक एट द स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट थ्री वीडियोस सो वॉट एवर आई डिस्कस्ड सो इट इज देर ऑन द बोर्ड इट इज एनफ इफ यू बाय हेड दीज थिंग्स इट इज एनफ इफ यू रिमेम्बर दीज थिंग्स राइट लुक एट दिस फ्रेंड्स वेक्टर 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 जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ वेक्टर वेक्टर मीन्स वेक्टर इज ईक्वल टू मैग्नेट्यूड इंटू यूनिट वेक्टर एनी वेक्टर एनी जनरल वेक्टर कैन बी रिटर्न एज मैग्नेट्यूड इंटू यूनिट वेक्टर सो वन मोर पॉइंट स्टूडेंट्स यूनिट वेक्टर वेन एवर यूनिट वेक्टर इज रिक्वाड यूनिट वेक्टर अलॉन्ग द वेक्टर ए ओर आर यूनिट वेक्टर पैरल टू द वेक्टर ए ओर आर यूनिट वेक्टर इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ वेक्टर ए दे आर ऑल वन एंड द सेम वन एंड द सेम यूनिट वेक्टर रिक्वायर्ड वेन एवर यूनिट वेक्टर रिक्वायर्ड यू गो फॉर वेक्टर बाय इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड डिवाइड द गिवन वेक्टर बाय इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वेक्टर ए मैग्नीट्यूड मीन्स लेंथ लेंथ ऑफ द वेक्टर ए If you divide vector by its magnitude, soon you will get unit vector. By that, what is unit vector? Vector by its magnitude. Vector by its magnitude. Next, you know how to find length. Length of the vector. Magnitude of the vector. Length of the vector. So means root of i per k square plus j per k square. Plus k per k square. You learn that. Next, triangle. Just removing bridge. If you remove bridge, you will get the resultant vector. Resultant. So AB plus BC. What is bridge in this? Bridge. Bridge means link. Link the point which connects both A and C. B is the point which connects both A and C. If you remove that bridge, so you will get resultant vector. AB vector AB plus vector BC is equal to vector AC. Right. Let vector A is equal to A I plus B J plus C K. Then direction ratios are direction ratios means scalar components. Scalar components are called as direction ratios. Tell me scalar components, students. A B C. So scalar components are called as direction ratios. Next D C S. Define D C S. L equals cos alpha equals L is same as cos alpha. Direction cosines. Cos means cosines. That is a by a by root of a square plus b square plus c square. Next m is equal to cos beta. M is equal to cos beta is equal to b by root of a square plus b square plus c square. Next n is equal to cos alpha. Is equal to c by root of a square plus b square plus c square. Next students. Next thing is so right. Let us move on to next one. Given expressing, expressing, expressing. Given vector, given vector, given vector. In terms of, in terms, in terms of P V S, in terms of P V S, P V S. Any vector, any given vector can be expressed in terms of P V S position vectors. Look at this, students. Look at this. Any given vector can be expressed in terms of P V S. Observe this. Y axis. You need not to practice this. Just understand the concept. Just understanding is enough. So I took up this. I take vector A B. Vector A B. I am taking vector A B. Given vector. So let us take this vector. You take this as given vector. You join this vector. Join the end points. Now you apply. 
So triangle la, triangle la. You can apply, you can apply triangle la in any direction. So I start from O, O A, vector O A, O A plus A B. Tell me, sir, how much is O A plus A B? You should be remove the bridge. O B, O B. So right. So A B vector A B. So O B. So send this O A right side. Uh, this is uh, what we need. This is what we need. Look at this friends. Given vector A B. Any given vector A B can be expressed. Position vectors of the points A and B. A B can be vector A B can be written as O B minus O A. O B minus O A. Do you remember that reverse of last friends? A B O dash. A B O dash. B dash A dash. A B O dash is equal to B dash A dash. A B O inverse is equal to B inverse A inverse. Reversing, reverse law, reverse law, reversing and writing. Same way, in the same way, A B vector A B. A vector A B can be written as O B minus O A. So one more example. Example two, example one. Vector C D. Vector C D can be written as O D minus O C. O D minus O C. Where O is the origin. O O always represents what? Origin. The point origin. Vector C D. Vector M N. Vector M N can be written as O N minus O M. O N minus O N. I hope you understood, friends. So next point. So next one. So right. Next one. Collinear or parallel. Collinear. Collinear. Or are parallel vectors. Parallel. So two vectors. Two vectors, two vectors. Vector A and vector B are said to be are said to be collinear. Are said to be collinear. Or are collinear or parallel? Parallel. Parallel. If vector A is equal to lambda into vector B. So tell me the condition for the vectors to be collinear. When we say, when we say two vectors has collinear or are parallel, two vectors becomes collinear. In vectors, there is no difference between collinear and parallel. You can use the word. You can either use the word collinear or sometimes you can use parallel also. So right, it won't make much difference. In vectors, there will be no much difference between the words collinear and parallel. Tell me conditions, friends. Vector A is equal to lambda into vector B, where lambda is any constant. So, if vector A is equal to lambda into vector B, then you can say, then you can say vector A and vector B are collinear. Vector A and vector B has collinear. Or are, or are. Same condition can be changed into one more form. Vector A. I take vector A as A1 I plus B1 J plus C1 K. I am taking vector A as what? A1 I plus B1 J plus C1 K plus is equal to lambda into I take vector B as A2 I plus B2 J plus C2 K. So I am taking vector A as A1 I plus B1 J plus C1 K. Is equal to lambda into. So you take vector B as a2 i plus b2 j plus c2 k. That implies. You know that very well, students. You learned that in last video. When we say two vectors as equal, vector A on left side is equal to what? Vector A on right side. When this happens, when it is possible, this is possible only when i paka is equal to what? I paka. J paka is equal to what? J paka. K paka is equal to what? K paka. That means corresponding coefficients are equal. Corresponding coefficients are sorry. 
corresponding coefficients are equal. So that implies. So tell me how much is i par k? A1. Tell me i par k. I par k A1 is equal to is equal to. Tell me i par k A2. It is not only A2, lambda A2. Multiply and take. Tell me i par k. So lambda A2. So one more. B1. B1. So write the head. Lambda into B2. Next. C, C1. Lambda into C2. So that implies. Bring that A2 down. A1 by A2 is equal to lambda. B1 by B2 is equal to lambda. C1 by C2 is equal to lambda. Right hand sides are equal. Right hand sides are equal. Therefore, left hand sides must be equal. That implies A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2. By addition, you can use you can use this condition. You can use this condition. So to check or while checking collinearity or our parallel. If these ratios are equal, if A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2, then you can say, then you can say the vectors has collinear or are parallel. So tell me the two conditions which we use to check collinearity and parallelism. So first condition, you can either use vector A is equal to lambda into vector B. So by that, remember this because we use these concepts while solving problems. These things are required to solve problems, students. So vector, vectors are collinear or are parallel. So when that happens, when vector A is equal to lambda into vector B, or ratio, ratio A1 by A2 is equal to what? B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2. A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2. I hope you understood. Now let's go for solving problems. Now let us go for solving problems. So yes. So next concept. Now let us go for solving problems. Find the values of find the values of values of x, y, and z, x, y, and z, so that so that the vectors the vectors so that the vectors vector a equals vector a equals x i plus 2 j plus z a and and vector b equals 2 i plus y j plus k R equal R equal. So now find out x value, y value, z value. You see one more question, so it's so easy question. Solution. Solution. So since vectors are equal, vector A is equal to vector B. In the question it is given, these two vectors are equal. These two vectors are equal. So when we say two vectors are equal, when we say two vectors are equal, so when i per k is equal to i per k, j per k is equal to j per k, that is scalar components are equal. Scalar components are equal. Tell me the values correctly answer. Tell me x value. x is equal to 2. Next, y is equal to 2. Next, z is equal to k per k, k per k. i per k should be equal to i per k, j per k, k per k. Right? I have to understand this one more question. Next question. Next question is, so go for next question. Let let vector a equals i plus two j and and vector b equals two i plus j. So is is 
length of the vector A is equal to length of the vector B. Question mark. One more question. Or, or the vectors, or the vectors, or the vectors A and B equal, equal. Are the vectors A and B equal? There are two questions in this uh, students. Solving is easy. So easy. First understand the question and go for solving. First the question is. First question is. Are these two lengths equal? Find out the lengths and check. Next question. Are these two vectors equal? When we say two vectors as equal. Again repeating. You can't get it. So again I am repeating. So when we say two vectors as equal. When their scalar components are equal, two vectors are equal, two vectors becomes equal when their scalar components are equal. First let's find length. Length. Length of the vector A. So how do you find length? I paka square, I paka square, I paka 1 square 1, J paka square, 2 square 4, 2 square 4, root 4 plus 1, 5. 4 plus 1, 5. Length of the vector B. Length of the vector B. Find out that. Root of I paka square 4. J paka square 1. Tell me that. Root 5. That implies length of the vector A is equal to length of the vector B. Lengths. Lengths of the vectors are becoming equal. Now you say. So are they equal? No. Though the lengths are equal. Though the lengths of the vectors are equal, but the given vectors are not equal because the scalar components are not equal. Here we have i paka 1, so j paka 2. I put j paka 2, i j paka 1. Are they equal? No. Vector A is not equal to vector B. Vector A is not equal to vector B because corresponding corresponding scalar components are not equal scalar components <coughs> corresponding scalar components are not equal not equal perfect answer I hope you are understanding students let us go for one more question find the unit vector next question find the unit vector Next question. Find the unit vector. Find the unit vector in the direction of vector in the direction of vector A. Vector A equals 2i plus 3j plus k vector a is equal to 2i plus 3j plus k so unit vector required if that question contains unit vector whether it is along, parallel, whatever it is you know how to find out unit vector by hand vector what is unit vector? vector by its length vector by its magnitude so just find that so unit vector to represent unit vector by a cap unit vector unit vector is equal to a cap a cap so tell me formula vector by its magnitude tell me what is the vector vector a is equal to 2 i plus 3 j plus k by vector by its magnitude so length of the vector a tell me length of the vector a root of length you know how to find length root of i square square 2 square 4 j square square 9 k square square 1 so that is 2i plus 3j plus k by root 14 root 14 split it split it this is the required answer you can go for one more step that is 2 by root 14 into i split it 2 by root 14 into i plus 3 by 
root 14 into j plus 1 by root 14 into k. This is the required unit vector. So unit vector means vector by its magnitude by hand. Keep repeating. So it will be settled into your mind. Keep repeating. Right? Okay. Next question. So right. Find the unit vector. Find the unit vector. Next question. Find the unit vector. Find the unit vector. Unit vector in the direction of in the direction of in the direction of sum of the vectors. Sum of the vectors. In the direction of sum of the vectors, vector A, vector A equals 2i plus 2j minus 3k, 5k minus 5k and vector B equals 2i plus j plus 3k. Same question students. So try to understand the question first. Some students they won't go for understand the question, understanding the question properly. Without understanding, they go for solving it blindly, roughly. It's not a right method. Find the unit vector in the direction of sum of the vectors. First you find out sum of the vectors. Sum of the vectors means a plus b, a plus b. Calculate the a plus b solution. Vector A plus vector B. How much is vector A? 2i plus 2j minus 5k plus 2i plus j plus 3k. You add both. So I 2i plus 2i. 4i. 4i. 2j. 2i plus 2i. 4i. 2j plus j. 3j. Minus 5k plus 3k. Minus 2k. Minus 5 plus 3. Minus 2k. Now, unit vector along a plus b required. Tell me unit vector along vector a. Vector by its magnitude. Unit vector means vector by its magnitude. Right. Unit vector. Unit vector. Along. Along. Or in the direction. Along a plus b. Along a plus b. Vector by its magnitude. A plus B by magnitude of A plus B. Same definition. So whatever it is, definition is same. Vector by its magnitude. Tell me A plus B. It is 4i plus 3j minus 2k by length. Tell me length of this vector. I per square, 4 square, 16. J per square, 3 square, 9. K per square, square minus 2 whole square 4. Split it students. 16 plus 4, 20, 29. Split it. 4 by 29, root 29. I plus 3 by so root 29. J minus 2 by root 29. K. 2 by root 29. K. We got the unit vector. Which two more questions, students? Let us go for solving one more question. Write the so write the so write the let us solve this one more question. Just it is enough if you buy it that remember the following. By heart to remember the following. It is enough. You need not to practice all the videos of vectors. By adding that remember the following enough to solve all the problems. First question. Write the write the write the direction ratios. Write the direction direction ratios. Direction ratios ratios of the vector. Ratios of the vector. Of the vector, vector A equals, vector A equals 
I plus J minus two K, and hence calculate, and hence, and hence calculate, calculate, and hence calculate. Its direction cosines. Its direction direction cosines. It's so easy, question students. It is dead easy. So here it is asked to find out DRs and DCs. DRs. Tell me what are DRs? What are DRs? Scalar components of the vector. Scalar components of the given vector are called as DRs. So DRs are. So DRs are so tell me DRs one one minus two. So these scalar components are they scalars or vectors? Scalars. I pata j pata k pata scalar components. Scalar components are called as what? Direction ratios. This is so this is tell me this is what is L. L format tell me L is A by A by root of A square plus B square plus C square. L is equal to B by L is equal to C by L is equal to A by one by root of A square. One square is one. One square is one. Minus two whole square is four. One by root six. I got L. Next M. M M is equal to B by A B C A B C B by So one by root of one plus one plus four. So one by root six. Then so that is again minus two by root six. So we got the basis. The answer basis. Two more questions. Let us stop this class. We shall continue solving problems in the next class. Thank you.